Hey guys, we're back to you with another, another episode of NC Bassin. Today we're going out crappy and maybe a little bit of bass fishing out my uh, neighborhood pond. A little small lake where there's another pond right beside my house. Here it is. It's about 16 acres. It's pretty nice. There's some giant bass in here. I got a five pounder yesterday out here, and I was, I mean, I was only here for about an hour, maybe. And I was just throwing a crankbait, and I saw like a couple of gizzard shad come up, and I hooked them. And then, I mean, he ran off like it, I mean, I thought I like, snagged a carp or something. But, oh my gosh, I just saw a giant snake. Holy crap. Yeah, well, um, then he came, the bass came off, and then I cast it in there again, and I guess it came back for it. All right, well, I'll get back to you with the fish I catch. All right, bye. All right, guys, we got a first one on. I don't think it's a very big one. Nah. All right. Little black crappy. Here it is. Not too big, it's a little guy. All right, well, I'll get back to you with the next fish. All right, guys, we got another one on the very next cast. Dang, he choked it. Yeah, he choked it. Uh, not as good. But he ate it. Oh, man. Right when I felt the bite, I said, look, and he, I mean, look at that. Look at that right there. He choked it. Get a little black crappy. All right, I get back to you with the next fish. I think I'm on a school right now though, so it'll be pretty quick. All right, all right, guys, we got another one on. It's right there. Not a big one at all for this lake. I guess it's a baby. There he is. Alright, I'll get back to you with the next fish. And what I'm using right now is a 1 um, 16th ounce little jig head with either a Bobby Garland baby shad or a, um, I just tried, I just wanted to try out these little, uh, here wait, let me grab it out of his mouth. I'll show you. One of these little thingies right here. I've never really tried them. They're Strike King something. I don't know who, but I'll get back to you with the next fish. Here he goes. Guys, we got another one on right here. Nothing big. I saw a big carp tail in there. It's a decent fish. He ate it good. It doesn't look good, big on camera, but it's not a bad fish. All right, well, oh gosh, got an ant on me. Sorry for shaking the camera. I was just getting it off. All right, well, I'll, be, I'll get back to you with the next fish. Nice little black crappy. All right, guys, we got a pretty good one on now. At least I think it's a pretty good one. Let's see. Pretty good back to it. Got some nice shoulders. Here, hold on one second. Sorry. I gotta get my GoPro man. That, um, we're moving right now, so it's packed up, so all I have to feel on is my phone. So I'll get back to you with the next fish. Bye. Alright guys, we got a good one now. Yeah, it's a pretty good one. Oh, yeah. 
Look at that. Pretty nice. And yeah, they look at the shoulders on them. All right, well, I'll get back to you the next fish. Bye. All right, guys, we got a good one on again. I just lost a nice one, but this might be actually the same fish. No, nah, it's not. Other one might have been a little bit bigger. But that's a good one. Alright, well, I'll get back to you with the next fish. Hey guys, um, thanks for watching the video. I'm going to explain what I did today to catch this crappie. Uh, I caught a six pound bass right after my phone died, so I couldn't film that. I'm sorry about that. But today, what I was using to catch this crappie, uh, I was using a 1 16th ounce, like a white jig head, and I was put on a Mr. Crappie Joker in a um, lightning shad co color, or, or just a shad color, something like that. And then I was also using a Bobby Garland Baby Shad and White Ice, and this lure right here is very good. You just reel it in real slow and just give it little taps every once in a while. Or you just sit there and just jig it. Just, and I mean, you can't stop that tail from moving. Like, my hand's like steel and it's like just shaking. But these are very good lures. Go buy them. Um, well, I was fishing down at um, a small lake in my neighborhood that I'm moving into. But there's a pond in my backyard also. So I'll be, you'll see a lot of videos from the pond and the lake, mainly the lake. Um, I might be doing a video tomorrow, so watch that, please, and subscribe and like. Um, like this, like I was fishing like a sort of like a drop off where it was like it wasn't too shallow water, but it was sort of shallow water, and then it just dropped off at this bush, and there was a ton of brush all throughout that drop off and crappy love uh, brush so anytime you find like deep brush always if you're going crappy fishing fish it and also if you're getting hung up a lot um i'm just going to go and tell you you're going to get hung up a lot in crappy fishing but that uh, that's like, that's gonna um usually that's where they are so fish it all right guys thanks for watching please like and subscribe and See you next time.